G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up a Dell G15 Ryzen Edition with the model number P105F. And what I'm wanting to do when I open this up is to go over what RAM can be upgraded and also change the NVMe SSD that's in here. As at this point in time, it's only a 256 gig model. I want it slightly larger. I'm going to use a standard Phillips head screwdriver and take out all the screws that I can see. And while I'm in there, I potentially will repaste the processor as well, depending on how that's looking. Not sure if these screws are all the same length. Let's find out. I'd say this has been opened once before. Some of the screws have uh, marks on. Some of the screws are leaving, where others aren't. For example, that one there doesn't want to leave. I think this one will probably stay as well. Yep, as it's trying to kind of, it's pulling up the plastic as I'm doing it, so it's kind of opening itself. And this one here is leaving as well. All those screws there are the same length, so I don't, mean, don't need to be concerned about that too much. I'll grab an edge and pull. Hopefully this will pop open. There we go. And we're in. Hmm. Sadly from here, the thermal paste repasting probably won't happen as it's a flip variety of board. So I won't be able to access it easily without removing the main board to get to it. Looking here, we have an NVMe drive over here. We have the option to add another NVMe drive over here. And RAM is upgradable. First of all, I want to disconnect the battery. With the battery disconnected, then we should be right to proceed and replace a few things. I'll lift this up. I'm just going to try and walk it back. There we go. We have one battery disconnected. Now we're pretty safe to do whatever upgrades that we choose. Looking in here, we could potentially upgrade the Wi-Fi card. This one currently has a killer 105, uh, 1650X Wi-Fi card. We have the NVMe drive here, which is a relatively baby one. And the RAM here, I believe it's two, 200, uh, two 8 gig sticks. There we go. 8 gig, 2400 megahertz. Looks like it's not from Dell going by that one. Looking here, we have 8 gigabyte PC4 2666. So we have two different speeds of RAM currently in here. Now, if I have a look at my collection, do I happen to it slightly faster? 4 gig, 4 gig, 2666, 4 gig, and 16 gig of 32. So Probably none of those I really want to use in this particular machine. But potentially adding faster RAM into this one would help. Looking here, NVMe drive. Nope, so we'll stick with what's already here. Now to put, install the RAM, you should have to go at about a 35, 25 degree angle and pull down. See this tab here? That will correspond with here. So if I put it in this way, slide it in so those gold pins have disappeared and push down, we're now clicked in. If I do the same over here, push it into here, pull down, that's now installed. Now I want to focus on the NVMe drive over here. Take this off and take this out. There and there, this should hopefully lift up and we reveal a very tiny NVMe drive. This is similar to this variety of sizes that get used in Steam Decks. So looking here, we have the PM991A. I can't quite remember which brand, if that's Samsung or Western Digital. I feel like it might be Western Digital off the top of my head. That is one little baby drive. We'll go get another one. Here's one I've got floating around out the back. It's a, no, actually I won't use that one. 16 gig Optane slash 256 gig NAND. I thought this one may have had a, may have been 512 gig, but we are not. I'll put in one of these little budget boys, the MP33, 512 gig by Team Group. Um, these are just very budget NVMe drives, do the job just fine. Next up, we're gonna have to move the mounting point up to here. To do that, it should be relatively straightforward. If I zoom in, you guys will see what I mean. We should be able to push this back. Hopefully not into my fingertip. There we go, that slides back. Move it over. Put it to the preferred size, like that. 
And next up, little notch to correspond down here. Push that in, let it drop, like so. And then I should be able to put the small Phillips head screwdriver back in there. I'm not sure if this will work like this as well, but I'm probably just going to leave this out. Put that in there like so. Put this screw in over here. I'll leave this out for now. Put this over here. And then from here, I'm going to have to do a fresh reinstall of Windows 11. Or at least that's what I'm going to use on this particular one. If I zoom out. I didn't see another one over here, so I'm not sure if that would have came with Dell, the machines originally, or if you just kind of got to dodgy it in there if you don't have it. Anyway, I'm happy. The RAM, not as fast as I would want it to be. Being the Ryzen 5600H in this system, it can operate faster at faster speeds, but running a dual channel will give it a slight advantage. Upgraded the storage. Just need to slide the battery connector back in over here like so, and if we zoom out, looking on here, nothing too interesting on this side of things, and I'll flip this back over, push it, slide it under here first, and then fold it down, push, click, 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 there we go, now should be right to put these screws back in once more, like so, I'll be able to do the same over here. There we go. It's taking a little bit to move that plastic down, but it is. Same with over here. Oop, if it wants to actually get in. Same over here. And then I should be able to grab those screws once more, all of which are of the same length, so I don't have to worry about where I'm putting them as long as they screw in. And that should hopefully help you upgrade some of the components in your Dell G15 Ryzen Edition. I'll be there. Have a one at the front. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Bye.